Amen. You, you, you know, one of the things that uh, I hope everybody had a great uh, week, and I hope you had a great weekend, and we're looking forward for people to have a, a great week. Uh, just, we just pray for God to, to continue to be with us and guide us. I like, I like what my mom says, that, you know, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. You know, because this fact is, if there's, there's people who didn't make it last week, uh, there's people who can't get up this morning. And we really, I think all of us learn to appreciate those things when we actually uh, recognize the benefit and the blessings of being able to get up uh, every day just to, just to say, amen, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's, it is a blessing, and I, and I thank God for all of us uh, that have the opportunity to get up this morning and worship and praise his holy name. Uh, we're going to get started. Uh, let's pray. Dad and Father, thank you for this opportunity to worship and praise your holy name. You say when two or three gather in your name, you've been the midst of them. I now invite you to receive the presence of the Holy Spirit, the leading guide in all truth. As we continue to get into your word, understand your word, and have our ears to hear be tuned to the things of what you want us to understand and grow by. We pray that the Holy Spirit have his way and that we get, let each person, whether those who are listening or myself, to get out of the way and let the Holy Spirit have his way. Amen? Amen. You know, so uh, this this going live, uh, what the panel members uh, that we have I uh, won't be here today, be on the road, and we pray for safe travel uh, for Brother Addison uh, as he travels, and uh, pray that he gets there, him and his family get where they're going to safely. Uh, one of the things, though, is, is just I want to be able to talk about, I think it's uh, interesting, is the different social constructs that creates divisions uh, among the brethren. And what I mean divisions, I'm talking about the fact is from uh, racism, legalism, uh, tribalism, uh, and tribalism, I, you, we can put that with political parties, you know, and, and there's people that actually hate uh, other people uh, just because of their party affiliation. So I don't even call it politicalism. <laughs> It could be politicalism. It, uh, there's people who, the visions of, of these social constructs based on, I guess, what people uh, believe in. I mean, like you look at it with the gangs, right? You got the cribs and the blood and you got these other type of uh, gangs out there that, that will fight each other, uh, let alone talking about what they do to uh, communities. Uh, you got, we got so many different things and it's not an issue about being uh, from, you know, being like from a different tribe or, or being uh, a different political party. Uh, it's only when it's, it's, it rises to the level where people hate one another and would do bad things with one another and use that justification of tribalism or politicalism. God, that's a new word, but I'm just putting it there. Division. Uh, if you want to, you know, like team sports, you're going to have people wearing different color jerseys and so forth, and they'll be competing against each other. And, and in most cases, we have rules in those things so that we don't allow it rises to the level where we have to, we hurt one another. Uh, but sports, you know, you know, I guess something like, it, it, and like we play football uh, in this country and in the, in Europe and stuff, they call football soccer. Uh, oh, excuse me, they call soccer football, right? Because they're kicking the ball, right? <laughs> in football, we do kick the ball. But the, the, the point is that sometimes people have, team rivalries to the point where the, the people, the, 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 the fans 
start fighting one another, all because of differences, you know. Uh, and I think we need to address that because there's, there is a difference between being a fan or the, being a, in a political party. Well, even the part about when we get down to things that's real bad, right? Like uh, racism, right? Those are social constructs uh, that man created, not God, but man created. And they even use these social constructs to, to brutalize and, 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 and kill people. I'm talking what's going on in Ukraine and uh, Russia right now. Uh, that, that could be one of the highest level of nationalism uh, where in this particular case, we're talking about the, uh, the rise or, or the attempt to rise the return of the Soviet Union, right? You know, you got the United States, you got the United Kingdom, you got all these, but you got this, you got this one organization. Matter of fact, it's not even just that. China is another one. You know, they got their nationalism of trying to be for one China, right? And and Taiwan, which is you know 100 miles away, they said, well, that's part of us, right? That that used to be part of us. That is part of us, and we're one, and we want them back and and with the desire to to bring it back that there they may it may not but right now it's seen to be a an attempt to restrict those people from declaring their own independence and you know and the thing about it is even our country when we first colonized conquered or whatever you want to call it in the united states we we the uh the fight between the you know for 1776 where we declare independence from from England, it was a it was a battle because one nation was trying to impose its will on the 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 intent of the people to be free from the control of that other organization, the other nation, right? It, and the thing about it, it was, it was, it was really territorial control uh, that one nation wanted to put on another nation. And nationalism that comes with it, I think that's really from that perspective, from the nationalism perspective, the, the, the British wanted to uh, dominate that control. Say, hey, we put the money, we put the investment in, in, in the new, what they call the new world, when, and Native Americans that have said, no, that was our world. That's another story by itself. But the point was that the they we had to fight for our independence. And what independence to do was to be free. And then at the same time, we were imposing the freedom, the independence of people um, that were brought here. Uh, by you know, by ships uh, as slaves, we were people that came in as indentured servants. Uh, we had people who traveled here, migrated, and immigrated from uh, from other countries, and 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 all kinds of social constructs in which people hated causes hate toward one another to do and justify bad things for one another, and it continues even today. The differences that that people used to to pose their will and and you know it's so funny the thing about it or tragic thing about it is that god gives us free will and this nationalism racism tribalism politicalism right all these things are things created by man to create groups to dominate and, and justify justify it i mean the, when, when you look at it, is that we have allowed these issues, these divisions, these subdivisions to, to creep into, not creep, have, I guess have been there for, from the foundation of time. And that's why God sent a Savior, Jesus Christ. 
And see, the thing about it is that he didn't send a savior for uh, tribalism. He didn't send a savior to, to have tribalism, politicalism, racism, or any of those isms, right? Schisms, things that cause things for division. He came to save the world. And it's, it is funny to have some people, and you know, you, you got people right now, they, they sit there and say, no, 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 he don't love the world. Even if you say it and read it, they'll sit there and say, yeah, but I will find some scriptures that show that he hated it. Like, you know, the, what do you call it? The Esau, right? Well, he hated Esau. And, and, you think, and then you try to say, and then we use that and say, well, that's the excuse we have. We see they love the world. We hear it in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his only begotten son. The whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The whosoever is whosoever believes. But some people would be cussed to justify, because you got to think about it, just to justify their right to hate somebody, they will sit there and say, well, God hated Esau. So therefore, I have the right to hate Esau. And I'm telling you, God didn't give you the right to hate Esau. And you don't sit there and they're making a generational curse of hating somebody because of what God said about what Esau really did which was he gave up his birthright. He, he sold it for uh, some beans and, 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 and he didn't, he, he, he downplayed the importance of it, not understanding that the, this seed, the savior, the, the lineage of Jesus Christ was really designated to the person that was in the firstborn. He sold that. He sold and belittled that. And that's what God hated. Not the person in, uh, intentionally one person. But the fact is that you're not God. So you can't use that excuse. I know you want to. And you go ahead and do it. That's okay for you. But it's not okay for God. And that's why I think, isn't that more, more important than anything else? What does God say? What is it that God wants us to do? Does God want us to, to hate one another? Opposed to the fact is that he says in the scriptures, he wants us to love one another, right? I mean, that's what the scriptures say. You know, I, look, I love to keep quoting to the one who was said in John 13, 34 said, he said, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. That's what he said. He said, verse 35, he said, this is how the world would recognize us by the love that we have for one another. Right? <laughs> the two great commandments, those who, who live by the law, it says that the, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, all thy strength and all that mind, and to love thy neighbors, thy self, and then when you went into the, the, the Good Samaritan story, it was clearly showing that loving your neighbor has nothing to do with uh, affiliations of religion. It's because the Samaritans were separated from the Jews. They were considered uh, inferior to the Jews. And that's, a, once again, when man try to make each other inferior, that's, that's a social construct. But even in the Good Samaritan, the fact is that there was a person that was a stranger that was beaten and left for dead. The, the, the priest walked past the person. The Levite walked past the person. These are Jewish people. The Samaritan, a non-Jewish person, rented aid to someone that he didn't, when he, when he found a man, <laughs> just like the priest, just like the Levite, when he found a person that the scripture said that he was stripped and left half naked, meaning if there was any clothing identified, whether it was a Jew or 
Samaritan or anything else was not evident. So they didn't know who that person was. And the only one that cared was the one that helped him. That was his neighbor. That's what God is trying to say for us is, is I want you to love one another. I want you to love your neighbor. Even the Ten Commandments is saying the Ten Commandments is not saying just for Jews. He said, these are the Ten Commandments. I'm going to take you, I pulled you Jewish people, or not Jewish people, Israelis, Hebrews. I'm giving you these Ten Commandments, right? And, and none of those ten, in those Ten Commandments was to hate your fellow man. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That has nothing to do, that's not saying you don't commit adultery just with you, right? It, 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 it's, it, it's a term, um, two married people, or well, married people uh, stand connected, committed to one another and not have their intimacy shared with somebody outside of that union, right? Uh, thou shalt not murder. You know, the, the word that says thou shalt not kill, but translation thou shalt not murder, meaning you don't kill innocent blood, right? That's what Cain did to Abel. He, he killed him, and he said thou shalt not murder. He said thou shalt not bear false witness, right? Thou shalt not cover that neighbor, wife, or family, or stuff, right? All these are things that, that in, a, in a civilized society, we want to be part of our life, to worship God and to love one another. That is, and you know, we so we have this hate this so embedded into us that we will override the will of God for us. You know, when we do the social constructs of racism, we 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 for, we say, and then yet at the same time, we recognize that what God created is good, and yet we'll try to subdivide what he created. I mean, the scripture said that God said, let us create man. He didn't say let us create a, 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 a superior man and a lesser man, right? He didn't say, he said, he said that we're going to create uh, uh, tribalism or politicalism and all, I mean, all those other divisions, all these social constructs. He just said, let us create man. So God created man in his own image and man created through a social construct decided to break it down to subdivision. So it look, and the bad thing about it is to so they can justify hate and they don't understand that people been hating People, there's people that are taught to hate. There's people that are taught to kill somebody that is different from them. But in reality, they all made in the image of God. Because we, and what the, the notes we're going to get into today is God, God does not want us to look at the outward appearance. You know, so I'm going to bring up the subject today. And, and, and I want you to get, check this out because what's, what's important, right? What, what's, what's more important in your life than to, to, to be what God wants you to be? You know, uh, I put that scripture, uh, and I need to put the title down. I put the title above here. It says, but God does not look at the outward appearance a man, but he looks at the heart, the spirit of man. Whether you are a live spirit connected to God or a dead spirit, and yet we create a social construct where we will uh, exchange our soul for positioning, and yet God created man in his own image. And yet, and, and then the thing about it, we do it so we can justify behavior, negative, rude behavior. I mean, you, when we look at the different fact is that uh, we 
created something with not understanding. And, and I'm telling people that are gifted and called it by the ministry to teach the Word of God, to preach the Word of God. Because that is where the enemy has crept into, and I'm talking about, it goes all the way back to when, when we uh, start building the church, uh, all the way back to the Council of Nicaea, where we're in Rome, the Catholic Church was formed, and then, then the division began where Christianity, they, they wanted to bring everything under one control. If you didn't worship and been part of the affiliation of that ministry, I mean, it was, it, I'm talking about it. There was all, there was different sets of Christianity. And there was the, like from the Inquisition and all these other things, just to, to, to bring people to say, no, you will worship my way. Not the fact is that you, you it, it's, it was all about worshiping God. They want to sit there and worry about how you worship God. And if you do it differently, now we're going to hate you. We're going to divide from you. We're going to kill you. Because that's what happened, right? A lot of <laughs> uh, different Christianities were where people were murdered. And then we know that the different paganism was killing one another. You know what I'm saying? This we 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 love to, man, I'm talking about mankind, love to find reasons for hate and destruction. And God is saying, I'm trying to I have to send Christ so that I can send the and Christ said that even I have to leave so I can send the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit will be manifested in you so you don't do the things that cause yourself to kill someone or another. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.